Before we start, there are three key terminology that you should understand first. MSSDN, which is the phone number, uh, usually uh, used to identify a customer. Site, also known as cell site, cell tower, or base station. It is physical and it has a physical location, which we will discuss later. Um, cell, cell are not uh, physical, cell are radio frequency broadcasted by site, or rather by the antenna of the site. There are multiple cells in one site, and here is the representation of a site. Uh, these are the antenna, they are usually the most visible part of a site. Uh, of course, there are other telecom equipment on the ground as well. Welcome to part 1 of the course, Dataset. In this section, we will discuss the type of dataset collected and used by the operator. The first one is CRM, Customer Relationship Management. Basically, everything related to the customer. Their identity, how they use the service, their subscription, their bill, and so on. There are multiple entities under CRM. The two main entities are personal data, which consists of the KYC, the name, age, gender, and also billing data, which consists of uh, usually the tariff plan that they use, the life cycle status, their tenure. Now let's look at the CRM data sample. We can identify each uh, subscriber by uh, their MSSDN their, or their customer ID. Depending on the market, there are usually two types of customer, uh, prepaid and postpaid. Prepaid being customer that uh, top up or recharge their balance first before they use the service and postpaid is the opposite being customer that use the service first and then they settle the bill at the end of the month next we have CDO call data record it is the data set that contains the record of customer call activity uh, I simply tell you that who call or text it to from where and from when till when. The main purpose of CDO is to build customer. Now let's look at the example. Usually there are two parties in a call. Uh, party A, the one who make the call, known as calling MSSDN, and party B, the one who receives the call, known as call MSSDN. Uh, there's two types of call. Uh, MOC mobile originating call is the event of making a call MTC mobile terminating call is the event of receiving a call and in terms of service type uh, the main two are ONET which is refer to the call between the same operator and OFFNET refer to the call across different operator Location update. In telco, location update dataset usually refer to the wheel or dataset. Wheel or dataset consists of subscriber location update when specific events were triggered. It's very important that you understand that wheel or is not the GPS location. It's simply the location of the uh, cell site that the customer is attached to. Now let's look at the example. Suppose you have a a uh, customer standing here in this area his real location would be the GPS location of his device and suppose that his device is connected to the side across the street in this area then in that case his real or location would be the location of a sign this red dot and a customer can move around in this area as long as he's connected to the same site his location his will or location would be the location of this site doesn't matter which specific uh, point that he went which bring us to the second point uh, the best way to work with the will or data set is to treat it as a region instead of a point simply because the site has very uh, large coverage a customer can move around and still showing and is still showing the, the same uh, location which is of course uh, SI has only one location 
here is the sample data set of uh, wheel law we have uh, date time we have the phone number and then the specific cell site that the customer X is connected to at that uh, at that time and we have the coordinate the longitude and latitude of the, the site that the uh, customer is connected to one of the most important network dataset performance management or PM like the name suggests it is about the data of the performance of uh, a cell at particular time for certain KPI or counters it's being generated by the NE or network equipment so it can give you some idea about the quality of the network by computing uh, the relevant network KPI um, so this is some of the example of the counter it could be uh, traffic volume at particular uh, period of time uh, void traffic at particular period of time so, and some user equipment count at uh, particular uh, interval of time and uh, this is the sample you can see that there are some uh, date times and the cell name and some other column that's uh, say counter um, so this counter means actually mean uh, different thing so usually there's a data dictionary that tell you that this counter is what this counter is what so you can know that uh, the meaning of, of uh, the, the data and from there you can compute some uh, relevant network KPI to, to show the, the quality of, of a cell another important network dataset network inventory network inventory dataset contains information about the high level specification and structure of the network it consists of multiple entity as well such as uh, sites, cells, antennas and more so each entity will have uh, their own detailed information now let's look at the example of a cell network inventory so this data set will tell you the information about all the cell in your network uh, such as the cell name which side the cell belong to um, the status of the cell whether they are active or not um, the technology of the cell whether they are 4g 2g or 3g uh, the bands, the sector, the azimuth, and so on. Next, we have SDK data. SDK stands for Software Development Kit, a piece of library or code embedded in application to collect data. But why do we need SDK data? The idea is that sometimes when conventional first-party telco data cannot tell the whole story, we need the third-party data. For example, uh, you have seen before that PM data is being generated by the network equipment. That means that you are actually measuring the network quality at the network end, not at the user end. So while SDK data can be generated from the user equipment, at least it gives you the ideas like what it's like at the receiver end and it's not just about the network quality it's also about some uh, app browsing behaviors and user experience as well here is the sample of uh, SDK data uh, usually we have timestamp we have the identifier which is phone number could be the device IME uh, sometimes it come with uh, location uh, OSOP is uh, representing the network quality uh, we'll talk about that later uh, and then we have the event that the uh, customer is was doing uh, the screen of the uh, of the app as well up next we have device dataset it is the database or a dictionary of information about mobile phone or any relevant devices operator rely on IME data to figure out the type of device their subscriber are using. I may usually have uh, between 15 to 16 digits. It stands for International Mobile Equipment Identity. And the first eight digits of I may is called tags. 
uh, stand for type allocation code. Each tag represents a specific uh, device model. For example, this uh, tag 35, 66, 97, and 11 uh, represent one of the models for uh, Apple iPhone 12 Pro. The remaining digit are the specific ID for individual iPhone 12 Pro. Keep in mind that IME is a sensitive data and it's unique. Now let's look at the uh, sample of the device data. Once you identify the TAC, the tags of the device, you will be able to figure out the rest of the information, uh, such as the model, the brand, uh, the type, the operating system, the technology supported, uh, and so on. Last but not least, we have uh, customer support data. It's very straightforward. Any business would have a customer support data. It is the data set of complaint or requests user made throughout different channel. Usually the agents use the system to record the issue with predefined category. Here is the sample data. It has the ticket ID uh, refer to the specific uh, complaint. It has the timestamp, the number, the phone number of the of the subscriber who complained, and then a category or subcategory of the issue, such as um, could be network issue, could be a balance issue, and then the status uh, of the the issue, and also some remark uh, wrote down by the agent. 